the sandwich. If you are asking for the service chips, we'll arrange it. Because if you say one week and some of them are at the war theater, what will you do? We will get them here. But I think we should be liberal. If it is possible to get them within one week, we can. But if we make it mandatory, then there will be a problem if, if they are attending to real threats. Yes. So we will arrange for that. But let me also say that the serious security situation um, is a matter of concern to not only the parliament, but all citizens. And um, what we have done in today's plenary is to be able to speak the minds of our people, how our people uh, are faring in the security situation uh, we are today. But what is crucial is uh, to proffer our solutions. And our solutions are, of course, the resolutions we pass. And then we, we make some follow-ups. I don't think it's, a, it's the base of ideas that we close the Senate because there is a serious security situation. Actually, when your country is challenged, that is when you need the parliament to be alive, not to close. And we should never be deterred. We should never be discouraged with discussions that we hold here, because this is the essence of parliament. But we follow it up. We insist that our resolutions are implemented. Today, there is no level of arm of government that is not concerned about the security situation. Everybody is concerned. What is crucial is for us to buy the bullet. We must appropriate funds, even though that's not the only way out. That's not the only solution. But the military, particularly our security agencies in general, require additional manpower, so much manpower. And I believe that they cannot just recruit people without funds been appropriated for them to do that. So we need to have supplementary budget to fund not only the recruitment of additional personnel, but also procurement of weapons and platforms. It's going to be expensive, but that's an investment that is worth, worthwhile. There is no better investment today in our country, or indeed anywhere, than to protect the lives and property of citizens. That is our legitimacy. And we are all challenged. What is required is for us to be persistent, to be patient, to push, engage with the executive arm of government until we are able to get an outcome that everybody needs. But it is also an opportunity for us to appeal to our citizens that this is a phase in our life. We are already in it. But by the grace of God and every possible effort that the government will make will be out of it. And what that means is as government plays its role, citizens are also supposed to play their role. There is no intelligence without the contribution of citizens. Because the intelligence is supposed to come from the citizens. When 300 or 100 motorcycles will carry 300 bandits into a community, they pass through other communities, but nobody says, anything. That doesn't help the security agencies. Let me, on behalf of the entire Senate here, and indeed the National Assembly, also commend our security forces. These people work with less than what they should have. Some of them are killed. They pay the ultimate sacrifice. Actually, I believe that we should also, in our one-minute silence, observe together for those military people that were killed. In my state, about um, uh, last week, Boko Haram struck. In Minoc, we lost uh, some of our people in the armed forces. They were killed whether by the mistake of the Air Force or some means. And it's all over the country. You go to the southeast. So many policemen were killed, military, and so on and so forth. So we need to also continuously and always commend and identify with our security forces because they do this work with very limited resources. And it is our duty to ensure that we give them the kind of resources that they require and hold them accountable. At the moment, 
will continue to push that they do their best with the little that they have. But we must provide for them, and the supplementary budget is essential. I will urge that the executive arm of government requests for a supplementary budget to give our armed forces more resources that we can afford. But definitely, we have to do something. It can't be that they should continue to operate without additional resources that will also include manpower. We need to mobilize our youth. We have millions of them who have no jobs, millions of them who are willing, who are patriotic. It, they want to fight for their country. Why can't we engage them? Not only as a source of employment, but as a means of fighting this, this war. We are gradually sliding into a very difficult situation, and we have to take this country back from all the insecurity uh, tendencies that we have across the country. With this, uh, I want to thank all my colleagues. We should never despair that our resolutions have not been implemented. We should continue to insist that the resolutions are implemented. And that doesn't mean that we will not continue to talk when it is necessary for us to talk, because this is the parliament.